your BBC. But do make sure you show your pass. Thank heaven for an oasis. Here, neath the broiling sun of the Sahara, you find me in the BBC sand pit. Yes, friends, this is where it all happens. Blake Seven, all five of them fought the Federation tooth and nail here. Here, too, Doctor Who has landed in his police box on more than one occasion. And over there, over there, the Japanese provoked brave British women beyond endurance. I wonder if the natives are restless. Those nasty tribesmen that are indigenous to the Bournemouth area. Courage, mon brave. Here in the dunes of Dorset, the BBC are recreating, but you've guessed it, Beau Maybe they are before. Maybe they're in there waiting for us. Fine. DFI, start. We have to do the whole thing again. We can have a fire problem. Good job. A little so, a little could you send up six shots, please? On your right? attitude to possible danger. What's there again? What sort of sky do you want, John? Quite so. What, what <laughs> sort of the impossible is difficult. Miracles take a little longer. Yeah, but I can't do that. Hill is the nerve centre of it all. Can you check with the armourer uh, that uh, Bunny's rifle sling should be as loose as that? It looks a bit daft to me. Ah, yes, it's quite nice. Not Bunny, Barry's. Buddy, I meant. I spoke to the production associate, Chris Doyley-John. One of the problems we've had with the show is that uh, at the Unit Hotel, we've had about 30 or 40 men, and there are no women around at all, and this has led to a certain amount of what is known as, in the script as le cafard, or the hump, as it's generally translated. You can imagine that uh, it's not very easy to organise social events with sort of 40 men around, and as I say, only about three makeup girls to go around. <laughs> life in the Légion. This is typically inclement North African weather. Men running away from their past. And the rain, which has put production behind schedule. And that accounts for the battle-hardened face of the director. Now that's getting a little bit brighter. And I think probably it will come over and we'll wait. Dred, come and have a consultation. Have you talked to your farmer about the weather this morning? He was right, wasn't he? What yes, did he, he was. say? Now, what did he say about the rest of the day? It's going to be like yesterday, pick up after lunch. It's getting lighter on, isn't it? Of course, May Brav. Life in the Legion was never meant to be easy. Particularly in these kind of conditions, when you've got to brush the rain off the parapets of the fort. And dig the lush Dorset grass from the side of North African sand hills, all in the interests of reality. That first run, yeah. I think we've got that for you. Who did we kill? Ah, bonjour, my legionnaire. Oh, oh, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. bonjour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, How are you doing, Pally? All quiet there <laughs> on the old desert, is it? How, how oh, are the Tuaregs and the Bedouin? Oh, they're all, they're all finished. Yeah. You've done them, 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 have you? Finished. Done a lot. Yeah. Done a lot. Yeah, but you all got wiped out as well, didn't you? Yeah, did you take it long to die, or did you die almost immediately? I ran down like a ton of bricks. Did you? Yeah. Did you curse in French as you went? Well, I didn't have time, really. The corporal mm -hmm. cradles my head. Oh, it was a very soft right. moment. Yeah. Yeah. Like sounds, that. sounds pretty moving. Mm. Are you yeah. finding it tough to meet the burning Saharan sun here? When the rain stops, it's really hot. Yeah, it's really hot. And I suppose life in the Legion is, isn't a piece of cake, is it? No, so it's half-off. When those Arabs were coming across that ridge I up can there. imagine. Oh, were yeah. you frightened? Yeah. Why were they shouting in, in Arabic? Obscenities. Oh. Yeah. We're, we're weird. <laughs> it's very Give weird. Give us a, an Arab obscenity oh, they were shouting. Infidel? Or? Infidel. Yeah, bundles of them. There was Infidel, infidel. Bundles of infidels. Yeah. Strange Cockney cowards. Sort of Cockney cowards. Cockney cowards? Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Oh, that's it. That's good. That's it. That's well. Smart. That's what about, what about the hair? What about the hair? That's all you right. have to have you to get your hair cut. Oh, that's better. Or have his right. ears dropped. See how his eyes <laughs> have, have your ears dropped. So. <laughs> Let me pick off a few arrows. Go on, it's on, then. Okay. 
<laughs> I think I just shot Beau Jest. That's the director. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas Campfield, director of Beau Jest. The emphasis is on realism here. I mean, you live this, don't you, really? Uh, morning, noon, and night. And according to my wife, I dream it as well. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. I shout out orders in French during the night. Because I've got two French things. flintlocks here, which would pick off a tour egg at about two... Oh, 200 yards? 200 meters, yes. I shall make my way out into the desert and face the ravening hordes of tour eggs. And don't fall over the sand dunes. Do me best, and I hope I don't bump into Doctor Who. I... All right, bye. Bye-bye, Douglas. Unluckily for you, they didn't quite finish me off. Just a minor flesh wound which I shall carry bravely to the grave. <laughs>